Welcome to the Late Late Show. I'm your host, T.V. Craig Ferguson. Please sit down, relax. Shave yourself completely. <laughs> completely shave yourself. Why not? <laughs> completely shave yourself and get a sort of electric blanket and rub it around yourself. <laughs> and then wait for me coming over. <laughs> I'm coming over because it's Friday. It's a great day for America. It's Friday. I love Friday. I love Friday. I love unless, of course, you're watching in a repeat, in which case I'll screw you. <laughs> no, thanks for watching again. But this is really Friday. It's really Friday. What is it? The 28th. Friday the 28th. So we're right here. It's Friday, and it is a great day for America. Not such a great day for Mel Gibson. Did you hear? Oh, you haven't heard. Mel Gibson was busted on a DUI in Malibu today. Busted. Mel Gibson, I know, God's friend, Mel Gibson. Busted. <laughs> he, was, he was busted in Malibu. We have his mugshot from the thing. Look. <laughs> That's not his mugshot. He was actually busted. This is absolutely true. He got a DUI. Now, it's, he's alleged. It's only an alleged DUI. Which means, of course, he failed the breathalyzer, which means it's a DUI! <laughs> but anyway, it's an alleged DUI for legal reasons. I can't say it's a DUI. It's a DUI! <laughs> so he's gone from Braveheart to the big house. <laughs> Apparently they can take his freedom. He's in trouble now. <laughs> oh, you! Yeah. Let me tell you, you can paint half of your face blue and put on a Scottish accent. It doesn't work with the cops in Malibu. I've tried it. <laughs> <laughs> it's also a great day uh, for America because uh, Miami Vice opens today, the movie of Miami, and I'm very excited about that. I, uh, I like the buddy cop movies, Starsky and Hutch, Turner and Hooch, um, <laughs> Pride and Prejudice, Ben and Jerry's, Kibbles and Bits, uh, Barnes and Noble. I love them. <laughs> they're tough cop book guys that can't live by the rules no, the, the, no, the, the gold standard of, of the buddy cop movies of course is uh, Lethal Weapon which had Mel Gibson in it that's the best, for me the best buddy cop movie Mel Gibson, Danny Glover Danny Glover's the, the veteran cop who's about to retire saying I'm getting too old for the stuff you can't say on CBS I'm getting too old <laughs> and Mel Gibson's the young cop who's just kind of like <laughs> Actually, a bit like his, uh, his mugshot. Let's have a look at his mugshot. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was a crazy young cop. Turns out he was just drunk off his ass. <laughs> Actually, though, I think being a cop seems like a cool job. Uh, see, I, I've never, you know, I've never been a cop. I have um, uh, some experience with the law enforcement agencies. <laughs> Only as a client, though. Only as... And every now and again, I have a, you know, a sexy cop come to my house and strip. <laughs> so I relax. I don't think he's a real cop, though. I... <laughs> I don't think real cops wear assless chat. You know. Oh, you're in trouble now, mister. You're under arrest for being fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be a big weekend. Anyway, what am I talking about? Miami Vice. All right, Miami Vice opens the date. Now, uh, Miami, some of my favorite shows are set in Miami. CSI Miami is in Miami. Um, good Morning Miami, that was a good show. Um, <laughs> Dallas. <laughs> Scarface, the movie Scarface was set in Miami. That's when Al Pacino played the Cuban cocaine dealer who, you know, uh, sniffed women and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, he was like crazy. He did all that. Say hello to my little friend. Hoo-ha! Yeah. yeah, come on. Remember? Oh, well, he was in that movie anyway. The Golden Girls was set in Miami. Not really a cop movie, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> the Golden Girls for old white women who could live by your rules. Actually, they could live by your rules. It's more like assisted living by your room. <laughs> Miami, Miami 
Miami's not just old people. There was a huge Cuban population in, a, in Miami. Because Cuba is, is like 90 miles off the coast of Florida. It's not far. Not far at all. And the capital of Cuba, Havana, back in the days before Castro, it used to be like Las Vegas. You know, it was like, you know, uh, the slogan was, you know, what happens in Havana stays in Havana. That's what it used to be. <laughs> then Castro took over. Now it's what happens in Havana is the vanguard of the socialist revolution. It doesn't have the same ring. <laughs> It doesn't look the same on the t-shirt, you know. <laughs> the workers shall determine the... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get the feeling, though, that most of Cubans in Cuba, they like America. That's what, that's what I think. And I think as soon as Castro's gone, they'll be like, oh, come on, America, everybody back. Because I think they're like, oh, crazy old grandpa with his fatigues and his cigar. 